Fox Charlie Echo Lima. There was another one in there. Uh, come back. Alpha Charlie 5 Echo X-ray. Jimmy, come on in. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR on my YouTube channel. I've been working with WF View and a few other programs lately, and this is the final video on that. Uh, I'm going to show you how I start up everything. And if you go over to my website, k0pir.us, you'll see the posts that I have. And in those posts will also be the videos that I have. So first what I, I do is uh, start up my VSPE, and I named it that just because it uh, made it personal. But uh, anyway, I'll show you in, the, I think, the first post uh, where you can uh, find out more information on VSPE and how to set it up. So I'll just double click on it, and it starts right up. And uh, it's splitting uh, my COM5 into COM1, and I use COM1 for... Uh, WF view and I also use it for uh, CW King on uh, in in 3FJP's AC log so after I get that going then I go into my WF view program and bring it up and from here I can control the radio and the things that I use most on uh, with this program uh, the things that I use most are the RF gain the AF uh, transmit power and uh, I go up here and I, I use the edges and uh, let's see what else I use uh, oh my uh, auto tuner I enable that and uh, use a, a couple other things on here what else is it oh my mode change and my filters and uh, it's a, just a quick and easy way to change the filters so uh, that's the way I use that's what I use uh, with WF view and after I open that up I go to my logging program and uh, that's AC log. Now, AC log is using uh, my CIV cable uh, for rig control. And if I look under device manager, you can see uh, I've got a separate cable here. It's a CIV cable, and this one's a pr prolific cable. And I have links to these on my website. I buy them off of eBay. Uh, they come in real handy. And uh, let me just run through the setup with uh, AC log. If I go into settings and rig uh, interface, and I've got these screen captures on my website, uh, you can see that it, uh, that's COM4, that's the CIV cable, it's at 19.2, and I think this is pretty much uh, the default. And then it, down in here, in the command to read frequency, I changed uh, the number to 94, and same over here uh, to read the mode, uh, 94. Uh, the polling is a little bit different. I think two seconds might be the default, and I change it to 500 milliseconds. So that's working. And then to get CW uh, transmit, let's go to settings and uh, down to transmit, and then over to CW setup. And that's COM1. That's the one that is in uh, uh, VSPE. And I use it for CW King. And if you have your radio set up like mine, and I have screen captures on my website, uh, USB Send King uh, for CW is DTR in the radio. And uh, then, of course, COM1. And I can send CW with, uh, with uh, AC Log. And I use that during a contest. And when I'm running parks on the air, I use the macros. So it comes in real handy click done on that and then the next program I, I pull up uh, it could be uh, WSJTX if I'm going to be operating uh, FT8 or it could be uh, FL Digi if I'm going to be operating uh, PSK31 or Olivia or anything else like that so uh, WSJTX is real easy I'm going to bring it up and uh, it is using uh, the rig control and ham libraries and uh, let me go back as soon as this starts up you can see that it is uh, it's not really controlling the radio it's red there but it is displaying the right frequency I can go to a uh, FT8 frequency and it switches over in uh, WFU I'll show you here under the settings and then uh, external control I have enabled rig control CTLD and the port is 4532 
uh, you got to make sure this port is the same as in WSJTX and I'll show you in WSJTX we'll go to file and settings to get rig control with WSJTX go to the radio and uh, down under cat control uh, I've typed in I had to type in uh, 127.0.0.1 and then uh, 4532 is the port that same port that was in uh, WF view and then for the rig uh, hamlib uh, net and then rig control so there you go and then of course uh, under audio that's the USB audio codec that you get with the, the USB cable. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and I can go ahead and transmit and make some contacts where there's a lot of people on today. Uh, this is uh, Sunday morning, uh, December 4th at 9.08 a.m. You can see down here in the bottom right. But anyway, after I, uh, I, I can leave this program up but my little laptop it kind of bogs down uh, because I've got the the recording software running and then all these hand programs running so I'm gonna just to be safe I'm just gonna go ahead and close WSJTX and uh, bring up FL Digi and FL Digi is gonna be using the same as WSJTX does you can see it brings up the uh, correct frequency it connects to uh, uh, AC log I'll move this over close that close that let's go to uh, configure and configure dialog and for uh, AC log you'll want to go under logging and then there's N3 FJP logs select that make sure the port number is 1100 and the address is that local address and connect and let's go back into uh, AC log and I'll show you where that 1100 comes into uh, go under uh, settings and again all this is on my website so uh, don't forget anything and the uh, application program interface I have this enabled and the port set to 1100 so that's how that works in FL Digi. You got a TCP API enabled server. So I'm going to go ahead and done. And if you're connected, it turns green and you'll see some uh, text down in this window. Now for rig control, we'll go over uh, over here to rig control and we're using hamlib. And I've got that selected at the top. And then this is the same as in uh, WSJTX, AMLIB Net Rig Control. And then, of course, the, uh, the path is uh, the local and then 4532. And the baud rate uh, 115.2. And when you select this, you want to hit Initialize. And you should see uh, the uh, frequency come up. And you'll see that in, in these programs, uh, the frequency is, is reading the same as FL Digi, AC Log, and then of course WF View. Oh, I've got the same frequency. And if I change the frequency, uh, let's go over here and uh, uh, change the frequency. I'm going to go to the band and hit 20 meters. And we go to 14340, upper side band you can see that it changes up here and it also changes over here in AC log so if I'm logging somebody uh, it'll get the correct frequency in there and then uh, one one other thing I want to show you is the sound card in FL Digi and of course that's the uh, uh, USB audio codec and uh, under uh, devices and then port audio select that and then the USB audio codec just like you do in WSJTX so I can uh, I can operate uh, I can operate PSK 31 and I can go up here and change frequencies real quick just select this little icon and I've got some uh, uh, PSK 31 frequencies in there let's see uh, 40 meter no not 40 let's go to let's go to 20 meters and see if there's anybody on 
so I just double click on it, it changes frequency and uh, the thing about uh, thing about FL Digi is I want to make sure that I'm running if I'm going to be operating PSK31 that I change this I want to go to uh, packet USB and when I do that it puts the radio in USB-D mode and that's what you want it'll show single sideband over here in uh, an AC log but when you make a log uh, when you log a contact, uh, it, it fixes that, so it gets the, the right right mode in there. And I, I made a let's see, I made a contact the other day on uh, uh, Olivia. That was uh, fun. It was slow but fun, and uh, then some other uh, PSK 31s and some sideband, and then of course FT8. So that's how I, I've been operating, and I use this for parks on the air. This is a great combination for parks on the air. I can switch from FT8 to PSK31 real easy, and of course go over to sideband and, and operate there real easy. And uh, my log uh, gets everything correct. And so that's, that's the way I've been doing it. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. Uh, and also please visit my website. Uh, if, you, uh, if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button below. And ring that bell if you want to be notified when I put out new videos. And uh, that about does it. So thanks for watching, 73, and good DX.